Well, what's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and um, I think we may have found, finally, after many, many years, an app that might be better than OBS? Let's jump into it. But first, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed, because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that's a pretty bad number, so if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. So, we are here at meldstudio.co. We're gonna go ahead and download this and choose download for Windows. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that one, it has a really, really nice user interface. Um, immediately, we can see that the audio mixer is on the bottom. We have some output so we can multi-stream uh, to different accounts at the same time. We can choose which video devices we're using. We can choose border styles for our camera as well as one of the things that a lot of people really are interested in is the ease of creating and using animations. So animated transitions from one to another is super easy. You can see they have layers and scenes you can switch to with these really cool slide in effects and uh, grow effects and all that stuff. So absolutely cool user interface. If it actually works really well in this performance, this might be better than OBS. Uh, let's go ahead and run that installer and try it out. So let's go ahead and launch it. Now that it's installed, it installs via the uh, Microsoft Store, it seems. And here it is. I can go ahead and choose our camera. I'm going to deactivate the camera in OBS so it can detect it here. And there I am. I can go ahead and drag this and yep, it snaps. By default, we have snapping. So I know you can set that up in OBS, but it is nice to have that by default so you have, don't have to adjust a bunch of settings and stuff. Um, we have our audio mixer here, so we can go ahead and choose very easily which audio device we would like to use. So I can just go ahead and switch over to this one, for example. And now we're monitoring my microphone. If I add a new layer, I can choose display capture and I can choose which window or monitor I'd like to display. So we have our actual windows here and our monitors here. So I'm gonna choose the LG Ultra Gear and there's the monitor. So I can make this below this layer, very easy to use. I can drag this down here and now I'm in the corner. I mean, so far so good, right? We can add effects as well very easily within um, the editor as well, which is actually kind of cool. And you'll notice that by default, if we click on another scene, it already has a really nice transition. So from black to here, and it fades everything in really nicely. Now, what really interests me is the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the File and Preferences button. And we can see that the default canvas is 4K, perfect, at 60 frames per second at 10,000 kilobits per second. This is actually a really good default uh, recording setting. And then we're recording to Matroska MKV, that's fine. We can choose our default audio device and create virtual cameras. So this does look like it's basically OBS, um, but we have a bunch of transitions we can fade to and a really nice hotkey menu. It's a little bit cleaner than OBS is as well. If we click on the audio mixer here, we have uh, adjustments we can do as well for gain, stereo panner, and magic mic which allows us to have automatic gain control and things like that, which is pretty cool. And we can remove it just as easily by right-clicking and deleting. Uh, so yeah, this is a super clean user interface. It shows you right up top how much disk space you have left so that you don't have to worry about running out of space when you're recording, especially at 4K. Um, it tells you what frames per second you're getting as you're recording. If you're going live, it'll tell you which outputs you're going live to. Um, it's just a really clean and nice app. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you going to be trying uh, Meld Studio out? Is it better than OBS? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Down in that virtual lab From conversations to games To interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh Always brings something new It's Mike the Tech Mike the Tech huh? Mike the Tech The Architect huh? Mike the Tech Mike the Tech Yeah Mike the Tech The Architect huh?